going into like because I've uh, I've seen you live before. I've seen a lot of obviously having this conversation right here. Going into stand up, how much time do you put into a stand up? Do you like is it the specials you put more time in? Because you you pretty it seems like you just go out there and just have at it. Yeah, yeah, I just, just kind of wing it. Well, I mean, when you get a when you get a special, yeah, like that's you, on our podcast. Huh? We just kind of wing it, like that's on our podcast. We just kind of wing it. Yeah, yeah, like this. Yeah, that's exactly. That's yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I guess when you do the clubs, that's where you kind of, it's like our practice for you guys. Mm. And then when you do the big theaters, that's our game. Like you, you can't just be up there like, just hanging yes. out trying to figure it out. People pay a lot of money, and that's an event. Yeah. They get outfit, you know, especially black people. Yeah. Black people. Women, they get the nails, their hair, their outfit. I like guess it's, it's a night out, so you got to bring it. Lying. The comedy clubs, little, and some people enjoy the comedy clubs more because that's where you really can just kind of mess around, try stuff. I just, I don't know. I got ADHD, man. I can't tell a joke for too long. I get bored with it. Mm. So then that's, and we're in such a great age now with stand up with YouTube and TikTok and Facebook on it. You can get your jokes out there. So if I don't want to tell a joke no more, I just like, I'll be get a camera guy and be like, hey, film this. I'm going to put it on the internet so I don't have to say it no more. Because once it's out there, I, I, you can't really say anymore. People get mad. You can't it, be a comedian it, telling the same jokes year after year. Is joke stealing a thing? It is. I think it's, I, it's not as crazy as people think. I think it's more if you're around somebody so long, you almost pick up their mannerisms. Uh, I've seen that yeah. more. Or yeah. their cadence, how yeah. they deliver yeah. their jokes. Yeah. So I've seen it like, I really saw there was a guy named Dane Cook back in like. Dane was huge for a minute. Yeah. And he's still doing well, but like the way he told his jokes, he was like, you know, he'd be like, I eat, I eat, you know, and I throw up. And then my stomach was, it was messed up. And then I, slowly after that, I started seeing a lot of more comics that were animated like him, you know what I mean? Like I play basketball, I shoot, <laughs> I rebound, you know, I take a pick, you know? <laughs> I travel, I travel, I travel, you know? <laughs> But I, I see guys, I see that more than Joe. And I think sometimes I've noticed this too. I've been around some people, some of my openers, and I had to tell them, and not, I don't want to say check them, but tell them, like, we'll be at like Red Robin for the mm. show, and I'll say something, and then we'll, we'll, have a, we'll be talking about it. And then he'll like bring up that conversation on stage. And I'm like, you know, you did, you said my punchline. Like, <laughs> I said that before I got the sandwich. <laughs> he goes, oh, for real? <laughs> So I think sometimes they don't even realize yeah. it. I don't think it's like out and out, I'm taking this and this is mine. Now I did have a guy in Pittsburgh one time. I was like, whoa, he did Eddie Murphy's ice cream truck joke yeah. verbatim. Oh, and I go, wow. and I'm sitting in the joke. back of the room going, you got me like, yeah. is he? And I was more mad at the crowd. <laughs> they I was didn't like, know it. you guys don't realize what he's doing right now? I think he changed like the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, no, I meant chocolate chip. So <laughs> it was the same joke. Wow. So it does happen, but I don't think it's as, I don't think it's as rampant as people think, yeah. you know? And plus comedians, we think alike, yeah. you know? There's only like, Trump was a gold mine when he was in office <laughs> and now the Diddy stuff's going on. So there's oh, only man. so different, so many different ways you can <laughs> twist those stories, you know? Yeah, the Diddy. Wow. Speaking of the Diddy stuff, we ain't got to get into it, but you ever been to a Diddy party? I've been at parties with Diddy, but I haven't been to a Diddy party, so. So mm. you're safe? Safe. This, this booty is a bird. That's <laughs> what Kat said, remember? Yeah. Kat what? said that about you. You're safe. Yeah, Kat said I'm good. So, uh, no, qu quick question, because I don't know, man, and I just want to know. You got to give up the booty in Hollywood to get, get on? This I what don't think so. Now, this is what people saying? You got, to give up so. the, you got to give up the booty to get on in Hollywood? No, I don't. Like, I think that's, that's what they own? I think that's a crazy, that's, a, that's crazy logic. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't think, here's what I, 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 now when I got in the entertainment business, I did hear there's a lot of Jewish people and there's a lot of gay people in the business. And I go, and I, that's true. But I don't, I've never been like, you're not getting this unless you do a favor for me. You know, I would never sleep with a dude. I'd sleep with an old lady <laughs> to get a part, I would. <laughs> oh, oh, let, oh, let's, a white old lady or just an old lady? Oh, we can get it if it's Avatar or something like that. Like. <laughs> I'll blow that 85 year old back out so fast. He's like, this, oh my God, I'm an avatar. <laughs> Wouldn't even lie about it. <laughs> Gary, how'd you get the part? Margaret. <laughs> it's this one. <laughs> Put on some Nat King Cole, we got popping. Yeah, I was just gonna say, so as long as it's a black old lady. Yeah, well I'd do a white one if it was, the part was right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> like I've been hit on by dudes, obviously in, the, in this business, oh. but I've never been like, uh, 
it Dang. never was uncomfortable or they made a move on me. But it, 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 you know when you're in a room and somebody's hitting eyes like this. Is this seven real? And other people pick up and like, that dude was hitting on you. I said, I thought so. Oh, I thought hell. so. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blast those people that's having a couple times because they didn't cross the line. Yeah. Like people, I hate it when you say, yeah, a guy hit on me. I go, well, I've hit on girls. So yeah. I don't know the difference, but it's like, people are like, yeah, but you're, you're not helping the other person might be a victim. I said, a victim of what? You're allowed to hit on people. No I mean, one. you had to hit on your wife. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you had to hit on your wife. That's how you get people. <laughs> yeah, but my wife kind of gave off the energy that she liked men. So it was okay to hit on Really? Her. If I didn't give you the energy that I like men, why the do you think that it's okay to throw your rod out here and see if you're going to catch this fish? Where'd you meet your wife at? Florida. Gainesville. University of Florida. Oh, you met her in college. Yeah, I met her in college. 